Hello guys, how are you? Today I want to show you how to debug your PHP applications using xdebug. We are going to install PHP xdebug extension and then enable debugging mode for our PHP Storm application. So at the end of this video we will be able to debug our PHP applications using uh, Chrome and PHP Storm. Let's start. I'm going to show this on Windows, but um, it's pretty much the same for Linux or Mac OS distributions. So uh, I'm going to provide the link where you can find step-by-step -step instructions how to install Xdebug with PHP Storm. Um, but for Windows, go to the XAM folder and a PHP folder and find the PHP in your file and let's open it. Um, search if there is already mentioned Xdebug. If not, just at the end of this file, put the following lines. Uh, where we specify the xdebug extension file uh, name, which uh, for Windows is PHP xdebug DLL, but it will be different for Mac OS or Linux. And remote enable one and remote port is 9000, which is by default. Let's close this and we need to restart our exam server our uh, Apache server. But before I do this, let me show you the difference between before xdebug and after xdebug. So um, I, I'm going to uncomment this var dump statement in my index.php and I'm going to access my index.php in browser. This is how my uh, page looks like without xdebug. Now let me restart my Apache web server and refresh the page. This is how it looks like after enabling xdebug. Okay, so if you are dumping really large object, xdebug trims the object to uh, just not to crash the browser. Okay, so if you are while dumping a huge object, um, xdebug just reduces it. So xdebug overrides the var dump function. Okay, let's move on and enable xdebug in our PHP Storm. After enabling xdebug in our PHP ini, we need to go to the languages, frameworks, PHP and debug. And we need to make sure that the debug port is the same as we put in our PHP ini file. It's 9000, which is fine. After this, we need to enable Chrome extension. There are basically a couple of ways how you can xdebug your application, but my preferred way is to install a Chrome extension. So I'm going to search for xdebug Chrome, which gives me this xdebug helper extension. I'm going to add it to Chrome and configure it. Here is my xdebug extension. I don't need this anymore. Xdebug. Okay, here we need to configure it a little bit. Go to the options and in your ID key search for PHP Storm and the ID key will be PHP Storm and just save this. Okay, we configured our Xdebug helper. Now let's go to the PHP Storm again and click on this bell button, which is start listening for PHP debug connections. Now, when I do this, it starts listening. And now I can click on this bug icon on for xdebug, debug, uh, debug. Let's refresh the page. Okay. Here, PHP Storm asks that, do you want to allow debugging of index.php? And I'm going to click accept. Now, when I refresh the page, it just loads and uh, it gives me this warning, xdebug session was finished without being paused, but I can hit the breakpoint here. And when I refresh the browser again, it pauses at this point and waits until it until I click the uh, step over or step into button. So 
Um, now you can do anything here. Uh, you can step over to this get array method and go to the uh, hello. I can step into here, uh, which is a hello function. And I can see that my name, past name is Zura. And I see basically all variables declared in this scope, which is a cookie, server, and so on. That's basically all. So if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next time.